Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jade, also known as the Starbook on YouTube and Instagram. I hope you guys had a great week so far. I am super excited that we're finally in December. It's only a few weeks until Christmas and New Year. I hope you guys are also in a very festive mood. For today's video, I want to quickly unbox two items I've picked up from Farfetch and then we will go over the five handbags I've used the most in 2023. Starting off with the quick unboxing, as you guys can see I have the two items behind me. One is from Totem, the other one is from Kate. These are two of the brands I really enjoy shopping from and Farfetch carry an amazing selection of items from these two brands. As you guys know Totem and Kate has been getting super popular these days so it's super hard to find the items in my size. I was able to pick them up on Farfetch. Thanks to Farfetch for sponsoring this portion of the video. I've been shopping from Farfetch since I think back in my high school days so I was super Super excited to be able to work with them on this portion of the video. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the first item. I've been meaning to pick up a coat from Totem for the longest time. I was looking around for a few different options. In the end, I decided to go with something a bit more classic and timeless. Let me take it out of the bag for you guys to see. So this is the coat I picked up and it's the most iconic and classic coat from Totem. I got it in black with the white detailing. As you guys will see in the trial, it's honestly such a fun coat to wear. It's very understated but also has a lot of unique design detail which make the coat really stand out in the fall and winter time. As you guys know, I love wearing black trousers and this goes perfectly with the trouser and it's a very easy jacket to throw on. Especially I love the scarf detail. It makes it a lot easier to just, you know, walk out the door without having to really worry about what scarf I'm gonna wear with my coat. When I got in person, I was also quite surprised about the fabric because it's a lot softer than I thought. It's not a super rigid material. It's quite thin but still keep you really really warm. I do believe this coat is 100% wool which is perfect for European winters. I did have to get this in the smallest size. For your reference I'm 165. Even though I did get this coat in the smallest size it's still slightly on the longer side of things. Next I have an item from Kate. As you guys can see both of these items came with original branded packaging which I absolutely love and makes it perfect for gifting. It's something very simple. You guys know I love black trousers, black denim, so I decided to pick up this pair from Kate. I actually discovered this pair from Blackpink. Jenny, she was wearing this I think to the airport, so if I can find a picture I'll attach it. Basically it's just a very simple pair of black denim. It's quite long. I do need to get it tailored because I'm not not super tall but I think I will wear this pair in the winter with just some tall heeled boots I think that will look really chic also love the fact that the button is black give it I guess a more sophisticated look I would say these one fit pretty true to size I got these in size 24 which is usually my denim size I'm like a 24 25 in denim so highly highly recommend if you're looking for a black pair of denim that's more of a straight leg fit I will as usual leave all the link down below for you guys in case you're interested in any of the items if you're like me you love items from Totem or Kate go check out our fetch website every week they have a wide selection of new arrivals. It's honestly one of the best platform for luxury items. In fact, recently I discovered that Farfetch also have a section for pre-loved items and I was doing some browsing and honestly I discovered one of the most amazing pre-loved Hermes collection. There were a ton of vintage mini Kellys and honestly I was so tempted to pick up one. You can see all of the detailed pictures of the items and everything looked like they were well curated and in really really good condition. So if you guys are like me or are looking to shop vintage and are kind of rousing the vintage market, I think Farfetch is a great place to look at as well. Anyway, that's it for the unboxing. Thanks again to Farfetch for sponsoring this portion of the video. So now we're going to move on to talk about my top five handbags for 2023 that I have been using a lot and enjoying a lot. As you guys could have probably tell, most of them are going to be from Hermes. I don't think there's too much of a surprise, but let's start with the one bag that made it into 
the top five bags for 2025. That's not from Hermes. So the first bag is the Celine Triumph bag. I have shown you guys, I think, maybe once on YouTube. I'm actually not quite sure. But I definitely shared pictures of it on Instagram. This bag, honestly, I use so much during the summer months. It's the classic Celine Triumph in white canvas, so you guys can see, with brown detailing and a gold buckle. So this bag opens up like this and the inside there is two layers and it has a long shoulder strap. I use this bag so much in the summer because it's just super easy to style. I love to wear crossbody and it goes well with basically everything I wear in the summertime. I love to wear denim, t-shirts. Because it's in canvas, I don't really have to worry about it getting dirty. Next one will probably come at no surprise. Again, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, I have shared this bag a couple times. This is my Hermes mini constant in the color Vert Amand. I've owned this bag for quite a few years now and I have to say in the beginning I was very much in love with it but then I stopped using it for a little while but this year I've really gone back and started to use this bag again because it's honestly just so convenient. I love the constant. It's probably one of my most used style bag beside the Hermes Kelly. It's more understated, very easy to wear. A lot of time if I'm going out and about and I'm a bit worried for my own safety like when I was living in Paris I would wear the bag this way so from the back you can really not tell what it is and it's super versatile because I can wear it double strap on the single shoulder or I can just release the strap and this way I have a long strap to wear crossbody so that's another thing that I really like about the Constances. The buckle for me is very easy to open I know some people have trouble with the constant buckles but Personally, I find it very easy to get in and out of. I would probably get another constant in a neutral color just because of how much I use this one. Next is also a bag from Hermes. It's my Kelly 25 in the color gold with played in hardware. So as you guys know, the Kelly 25 is absolutely my favorite size of handbag from Hermes. I think for me, the Kelly 25 rank even above the Constant Mini just because of how much I adore this specific shape and size of bag. As you guys know, I have quite a few, but the gold one with plated hardware is definitely, definitely my most used one. It's just super versatile, easy to style. It's an Epson. I don't really need to worry about it. I've been caught in the ring with this bag a couple of times and it's done just fine. I come home, I leave it to air dry and it's completely fine. I think particularly because this bag came with plated hardware. It was a lot more casual to style compared to if I had gold on gold instead. Next is also another Kelly 25. So I was in line when I told you guys that Kelly 25 is my favorite, favorite size for Hermes. This one is my black Kelly 25 in box leather with plated hardware. Again, it's another plated hardware bag because I am currently very obsessed with plated as you guys can probably tell. In the beginning, I was a little bit worried about having a bag in box leather, but honestly, it has worn really well. As you guys can see, there's honestly no scratches on the bag. To be fair, I am very careful with this bag. I've had this one for a little bit over a year now, so it's done really well for the time I've owned it. I am very conscious of not taking this bag out when there's a chance of rain, because box leather is very sensitive to rain. But in terms of scratch, any any mild scratches kind of do blend into the leather over time, so I haven't had any big accident with it. I just really, really adore the shine of box leather in the fall time and winter. This is the bag I automatically want to go to, especially if I'm wearing like a black coat. I love taking this bag because it just stands out, um, I guess, against a black coat because of the shininess of the bag. If you're thinking of getting a box leather from Hermes, honestly, my advice would be just to go for it. especially. I think for the smaller bags like a Kelly 25, a Mini Kelly, it will do just fine if you are a little bit careful with it. Next, I have the last bag of my top five bags for 2023. This one, even though I've only had for a little while, I've honestly been using it nonstop. I'm sure it's not a surprise to any of you guys. It is my special order Mini Kelly in the color Blue Glacia with plating hardware, white stitching, 
and the inside is Chris Pearl. You guys have seen this one quite a few times now because I did an unboxing with you guys, a little vlog and a review. So it's definitely not new to this channel. I've had this bag for now a bit over a month and I've been using it practically every other day. I don't know why, maybe because it's a plated hardware bag, maybe because of the color, but I just find it so easy to style, so easy to wear. I also just love the longer strap on this bag. As you guys know from my previous video, I ordered the longer shoulder strap for this specific bag so that I can wear crossbody, and that's just made it so much easier to wear over big coats, especially now that London is starting to get cooler. I have just been reaching only for crossbody bags, so this is definitely my number one bag that I have been using lately, basically non-stop. As you guys can see, I have not even put the felt on or anything because I've just been reaching for it so much. It's not getting any rest time lately. And I think I'll probably be taking this bag with me when I travel for Christmas because it's just such an easy to wear handy little bag. Anyway, that's all for my top five handbag for 2023. Thank you guys for watching the video to the end and thank you for being a part of my community here on YouTube and Instagram for the past year. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the content on my channel this year. If I don't see you guys again until the beginning of next year, I wish you guys a wonderful Christmas holiday. Thank you guys for staying to the end. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.